and happy World Book Day. Welcome to our Share a Story Corner and today I'd like to just share with you some of the reasons why picture books are such a wonderful way to encourage children with books and develop a lifelong love of reading. Now picture books are really versatile, they can be used in lots of different ways and I'd just like to show you some examples um, of some classic books and some newer picture books and how you could use them to share stories with your children. Picture books are, uh, can be used to encourage children to join in with you, feel that they've got ownership of the story and that they're participating. And there are some great examples in Dear Zoo, Shark in the Park, and We're Going on a Bear Hunt. Now, in Dear Zoo, children love guessing which animal is going to come next in the story. A child writes to a zoo to send them a pet and they get sent various animals and children love to call out to you which animals they think are coming next. If it's the first time they've heard the story, whether it's the first time they've heard the story or whether they've heard the story many, many times and they just know it off by heart and they still love to be able to anticipate which animal and let you know. So this is a great one for participation with your child. Shark in the Park tells the story of a boy called Timothy Pope and what he sees through his telescope on a visit to the park. It uses cutout pages to lead us to believe that there is actually a shark in the park. And Timothy, Timothy repeats this phrase every time he looks through the telescope. There's a shark in the park. And this is something that your child can have fun joining in with you before you turn over the page to reveal whether it's a shark or not. It's also a rhyming story, which means it's got a very good rhythm for reading aloud. We're Going on a Bear Hunt is a classic that's been around for many years and has been made into an animation. So your child may have seen it as well as shared the book. Now, it's a great one for um, allowing children. It's full of wonderful sounds that your children can bring to life to create their own sound effects. And it's also got phrases that are repeated on every page, so your child can join in with that. So um, it's full of sound effects such as wading through grass or walking through water, splashing through water and squelching through mud. And your child can create these sounds as you read the story. And for each barrier that they come to, there is a refrain that your child can join in with. You can even do actions to go with it. So for each barrier that they come to, we are told that we can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. And then after that, your children can make the sound effects of whatever they're going through. So they're lovely stories for joining in with, for the children to join in with you. Now, Julia Donaldson is one of the most prolific and well-known picture book authors of recent years. She's written countless stories that you'll find in our libraries, but perhaps the most famous of all is the story of the Gruffalo, which has also been animated. So your child may have seen that. Now, this is a, a, a hilarious, rhyming tale of a clever little mouse who manages to outwit various animals who would like to eat him, including the Gruffalo himself. And it's full of very vivid descriptions of what the Gruffalo looks like. And as we go through the story, we get layer upon layer of further description added. For example, he has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. And after managing to foil each animal, the mouse says, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a Gruffalo? And your child will pick up on this and be able to join in with it. Now, another favorite of mine that I like to read with children who come to the library around Christmas time is Stickman. And again, this was turned into an anim animation for Christmas time. So your children may have seen that. So there are lots and lots of her books to find and share 
and they're all really wonderful for sharing a story with your child. Now, my favourite stories to read to children who've come to the library in recent years have been the Oi series by Kez Gray. It started with Oi Frog, which is a hilarious rhyming tale about a frog who discovers that all animals have their special places to sit, including frogs. Although he might not necessarily be that happy when he finds out where his special place to sit is. Again, it's a rhyming story, which gives it a lovely rhythm for reading. And children love the silliness of the suggestions that are made in this story. For example, what do lions sit on, asked the frog. Lions sit on iron, said the cat. Ouch, said the frog. What do parrots sit on? Parrots sit on carrots, said the cat. Lions sit on irons and parrots sit on carrots. And so it goes on. And children love not only trying to second guess what the animal is going to sit on, but they love making suggestions of their own. And if your child enjoys this story, then I'm sure they would love the sequels because he went on to write a story about Oi Dog, he followed up with Oi Cat, and then he moved on to the rather puzzlingly titled Oi duck Build Platypus, which kind of throws a bit of a spanner in the works about how you're going to rhyme in this book, but you'll see that the author has a clever way of getting around that. Now, long before he created the Oi series, Kez Gray wrote another story that I really love reading to children on. Uh, who visit the library and that's Eat Your Peas and it tells the story of a parent trying everything she can, trying desperately to get her daughter to eat her peas which is the food that she hates the most but at the end of the story the child manages to turn the tables on the mum and points out a food that she doesn't like so I'm sure that you'll be able to identify with this story when you've had to deal with resistance from your child about something that they don't want to eat. And it's a clever way of looking at the issue with a child. Finally, I'd like to share with you another long-standing classic, the story of the very hungry caterpillar, which provides a very colorful introduction in a very simple way to an animal life cycle. So we start with the egg on the leaf and the caterpillar hatches from the egg. And the caterpillar is very hungry. And we see through the course of a week what the caterpillar manages to eat its way through. So it's also a, a book that can be used to encourage early counting skills. And then it finishes with a beautiful illustration of what happens when a caterpillar turns into a beautiful butterfly after it hatches out of its cocoon. Now, they are just a selection of the many wonderful picture books that you'll find in Enfield Libraries. And although at the moment, I know that you can't actually come in to browse the books, please do take full advantage of our website where you can go to reserve books. So please browse the collection we've got on there and um, choose, and you can reserve books to pick up. I hope that this has inspired you to share stories with your child, particularly now on this World Book Day, but hopefully that will just be the beginning for you and that you will continue to share stories and that both of you will enjoy that experience. So thank you very much and happy World Book Day, everyone.